Yes, we love the linen. Oh wait, this isn't the same linen though. As there's two different kinds. Because this one goes with the jacket. Oh, it's a large. Ooh. Maybe the large would work. No, too big, but it has a drawstring. It's gonna be like really baggy though. It's like really baggy. Oh, I just love this jacket. I think you should get the jacket no matter what. This is so good. What size jacket would you be? Where's the sizing? 42 arms. Oh. That's so good. A linen jacket. <gasps> I love that. Just for like, even just like not even the shoot. I just love it. You need that just for life. Yes. That Do you not love that? No, I like it a lot. It's great. Damage. Got shoes, jacket, shirts. All right, we are, you wanna put your clothes down first, I guess? Yeah, I have some more too. Putting, packing up the prop car, here she is. I'm just gonna take her straight to the shoe and then do you wanna put the dresses in there? Thank you. Love it, and got all of our props. And this is, this is her. This is the car. You excited? Yeah, cool, yeah. You know, so, wear all your new H&M you know, stuff. I, uh, well, uh, not normally excited for a photo shoot this kind of guy. Well, like, this is going to be pretty sick. <laughs> it's going to be cool. The car makes it. The car is yeah. the moment. Totally. I can't wait. And we're off. You look good in this thing. <laughs> this is so fun. Having a little glass of wine to loosen up. <laughs> but you guys, this is the location. So obviously our trunk is a mess because we have literally 35 million outfits. But look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. These photos are going to be so fun. All my shots are just, very, I'll like put you into a movement okay. and then just make it your own. Like, no, I'm, I don't do any poses. I'll just say something and then you guys let it mold into what it's going to be. And just, you're always focusing on each other. <laughs> in there and then you on the hood. On the hood yeah. Oh my god, this is going to be so good. <laughs> look at you. You look like you're ready to get married. Do I? You do. And like shooting each other. Oh, okay. Cute. Yeah. You can put the strap on too. It's so cute. Oh my god, and that's so cute because this is what you guys do together. Oh! <laughs> you're so cute. Can you get a solo shot? Oh, you look so good. Yeah. You need a photo. So you look so cute. Yeah, just like cross. 
cross your leg, lean against the car, and cross your leg. Yes! Oh my god, you are a model. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you're looking so good. Now just get in there and like walk up. Ah, you look so, this is so good. Oh my god. Yeah, do it again. is so good. Obsessed. Obsessed. <laughs> down and then you came like walking out towards me yes do it one more yeah, time it doesn't have to be that long of a spin right just enough right. to where I can get that action right. shot so. <laughs> okay down and then walk towards me <laughs> yep <laughs> you. So very well I think you should turn around. <laughs> gosh I love this thing I know I know awesome, it's so it? fun <laughs> you hear it through the cruise time that I buy it <laughs> I come rolling up in it. Look at this lighting. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to see the photos. Those last one, I feel like that's the one we should do. Yes. Yes. We did four outfits. Yeah, that was four outfits. That's that's cruising. I don't even do that many sometimes. I just shoot by myself. Okay. I am back home, obviously. It's the next day. Last night was so much fun shooting. She's already sent us a couple like little before and afters. I will insert them all here. I am so excited to see the full album. It was so fun shooting. Definitely needed that glass of wine to like loosen up in front of the camera a little bit, but it was so good. You guys, the pictures are gonna be so epic. We ended up shooting four different looks wild i went into it thinking we would only do like one or two but we made the most of it it was so fun and then we also did this fun little video um that i actually will post on instagram so i'll link it down below i also will probably put like all of the photos from the entire shoot day and like a little blog post i have a blog in case you guys are new here it's called but what should i wear so maybe i'll put it in a blog post and i'll link it down below that way if you want to see all of the photos for like future couple inspo if you're doing it on your own I'll link that down below but I figure before I hopped off and ended the vlog I wanted to show you guys everything that I was wearing last night um some of the outfits that I brought I didn't get to wear I brought so many options just because I didn't know what she was going to want to do or like what her vibe was so I brought a little bit of everything and I wanted to kind of do a haul since obviously you guys saw the looks and they are so cute um I obviously pretty much only packed white <laughs> If you are new here, I literally love wearing white and neutrals. Um, it's a problem I have, and because of that, everyone thinks that I'm always like getting engaged or doing an engagement shoot, but that was not the case. I'm just a girl who likes white. So all of these are white dresses. Not that you need to be engaged or married to wear white, um, but they would make really cute engagement wedding dress, or not wedding dresses, but like engage engagement, like bridal, party, whatever. If you're a bride, you can wear them. If you're not, you can also wear them, you know? Anyways, I wanted to start off with my favorite number and it is actually this slip dress. So I feel like we probably got the most content in this one because I was obsessed with this dress. It's a like pretty like midi maxi, I would say it hits right, right above your heel and I love the lace detailing. It kind of has like this keyhole opening in the front and then it has a cross back. It's from Nasty Gal. I'm pretty sure that this dress is only like 
25 or 30 dollars depending on like what the sale is but i knew i needed to have it and it's such good quality it's like a silk it also comes in black if you're not here for like the white moment but i literally loved it it's also double lined so we love that it's got a little slit this was my favorite look hands down now my other favorite look is a bit more of a splurge but i did find some actually pretty good um dupes for this dress for a lot less so i will also link those down below but i feel like this is such a good vacation dress i wasn't sure if i was going to break it out for the shoot but we ended up doing it and it's like this crochet like kind of hard to show you what it looks like when i'm just holding it up but i will insert some pictures here it is this crochet mini dress and this one is really nice because it actually has some pretty thick crochet so it's not very see-through i just wore like nude underwear and then like little pasties for like enough coverage and then it's open in the back as you can see kind of like this and then it has like this little wooden wooden detailing and then it cinches in the back in case you need to tie it any shorter but this number i'm obsessed with i feel like i'm gonna bring it on future vacation so it was fun for the shoot but i also feel like i'm gonna get just a lot of life use out of this you know but definitely another one of my favorites another little nasty l number that i picked up this again was like 15 or 20 dollars just this like white little mini dress i loved the ruffle the ruffles on the top it kind of cinches right here even though you can't really see that but i just thought the ruffles were so good little mini dress i just feel like it's very um kind of like that cottage core vibe i feel like that's what people are calling it just very like prairie girl farmer like perfect for a cute like bridal shower sunday brunch this shoot i just thought it was a fun little dress to have you know we also shot a more casual look and i wore like a white tee with my everlane white denim pants i will insert some photos here i actually already threw them in the wash so i don't have them to show you guys but they're my favorite like white pants and then i had this little silk scarf thing that i got off of amazon this silk scarf i have had this for probably two years but i will link it down below because i think it's still on amazon but it's such a good size so you can kind of wear it as like i've worn it as a top as a sarong for a bathing suit i wear it in my hair like you literally get so many uses out of it because it is so big and silky and only like ten dollars this is like a kind of an off-white like very very light yellowy champagne color but i think they do have other colors i don't know i'll link it down below um i'll try to link the exact one because i know that there's like a million on amazon but now the last dress that i have i didn't actually break out but i feel like she still needed a moment on the vlog because she was is so epic and i'm gonna keep her um because i'll have to find somewhere else to shoot it but it's this beautiful cb2 dress if you guys are familiar with cb2 i feel like they kind of invented the cottage core vibe of just very very gorgeous dresses and everything that they do is like the most insane quality and structure ever like if you are ever to splurge on something the quality immaculate the designs literally perfect but this is the dress it's this midi dress with this beautiful kind of purple green yellow floral print obviously lots of white we love that and then it has these tie straps which are gorgeous so it's kind of a little bit more corseted in the top with the ruching right here and then it just goes into this very long flowy midi skirt with a nice slit also i don't know if you guys care about richie's haul but as you saw we did go to h&m and picked up a couple of things so i figured i would just show you guys what we picked up and link everything down below a couple of the things he had brought like his pants he brought a couple different styles of pants but we wanted to pick up like a blazer and different tops and everything so we ended up picking up these linen shorts let me show you they kind of tie these linen shorts for him so they're nice and long he got a size medium he's usually a large so go to size medium so i guess you could say size down um got a little pocket in the back but they're nice they're not see-through they have pockets obviously like all men clothes have pockets so i probably don't even need to specify that girls clothes you always gotta specify if there's pockets so that was a good little h&m buy and then we did end up getting the linen blazer i am obsessed with this blazer you guys he literally looked so good in it i was like screaming when he was sitting by the car i was like you need to get a solo picture so we snapped a little solo picture in this and it was so good this suit jacket is amazing and it's from h&m so we love that which means it wasn't like a million dollars even though i feel like it looks and feels like it was a million dollars it's a bit wrinkled because i kind of threw it in a bag but 
you know steam it out and it'll be fine and then the inside is actually linen lined as well so it doesn't have like a silk lining except for just right here on top usually i feel like you would see that throughout the, the jacket but it's just linen lining so good another h&m pickup that he did was just this like white chill little button down so i will link that below he got this one in a size medium as well and then two other things that he brought um I can't remember if we broke these ones out. This is a super, super casual, comfortable button down from Cotton On. You guys, I kid you not, when he when I say he owns like five of these, they are the softest, most comfortable, like relaxed fitted button downs. I feel like they're perfect summer vacation when you kind of want to be dressed, like dressy casual. You don't want to be too dressed up. You don't want to be too casual. This is so good and it is like so soft and comfy and then he also bought this is cotton on's like long sleeve version of that same top same like super super soft fabric he didn't end up breaking this one out but we did bring like black looks just in case we wanted to do that but you guys know me we didn't do a black look and same fabric though but just long sleeve and super comfy again oh he got this one in the medium i don't really know his sizing but there you go if you want it Anyways, that's it for the little vlog. I just wanted to give you guys a little haul rundown in case you're curious about the sizing fit, all of that. So I will link all of that down below. I will also link anything that we post with the pictures just so you guys can see the final products. I will also link Danielle's Instagram below as well as Jasmine. Jasmine was the girl that was doing video. So everything will be down below in the description box in case you guys are interested in seeing, like I said, the final product, who was there, who helped create the content. It was such a fun day and i'm kind of happy that we captured a little bit of bts and it'll just be like memories i cherish forever which is kind of cool and richie and i you guys know have been together for like seven years so it was about damn time we got some good photos you know you know anyways that is all i will see you guys next time